This is the 2021 BrewTubers Online Brewers Club Yeast Experiment number two, Saison. Thank you to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Five Star Chemicals, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store, Brewing America, all stainless steel mash paddle sponsors. Also Hopsteiner and Yakima Chief Hops. Get brewing. Hey guys, Matt here at Rec Brewery. I'm gonna do another review. This is for the BrewTubers Yeast Experiment number two, the Saison. Um, this time I reached into the fridge and happened to pull out the one from Woodshed Brewing, that's Dennis over there in, uh, in New York. Um, he used the Belle Saison, that's what he's, I guess he's calling it, Belle Saison, that's what's on his label. He uses the nice uh, pint-sized tall boy cans. He uh, uses the same canner, actually one of the reasons why I bought my canner, so the October SL1, so very cool. Um, give you some information here from the sheet before we dig into it. Uh, this is, uh, so with the Belle Saison from Lalamond. Uh, he used one package, no starter. Uh, he brewed five and a half gallons on May the 8th, kegged on June 1st, and he canned on June 15th. Um, he kind of does like a DIY sort of system that's very similar to the claw hammer system. He does the, uh, he's got like the Tower of Power from, um, Blickman, and he's got, it's all natural gas, um, patched right into his, uh, garage or woodshed, hence the name, I guess, woodshed brewing. Um... So he mashed at 150, mash pH was 5.4, pre-boil gravity at 1045, OG ended off at 1053, so I think that's one of the lower ones um, out of the bunch. Matter of fact, as I kind of scan through it, I think his is the lowest. So unless you uh, mistype that, I guess Dennis, you're the lowest one of the bunch there. Um, fermented at 72 degrees, normal fermentation, no issues, no stalls. Uh, he cold crashed it. Final gravity was 1008, ABV of 5.9. So maybe that wasn't a typo, maybe his truly is the the lower one of the bunch, which is totally fine. Um, so it's almost a 6% beer. Um, he just did the set it and forget it method when he went to carbonate, which is pretty much what I do most of the time. You know, just stick it in the kegerator, run it at your serving pressure and let it kind of go. Um, so that's everything on the sheet that we have. Let's go ahead and crack into this and then we'll talk about the yeast. Nice pop on it. Foam coming, trying to get out of there right away. Got my brew tubers glass this time. That is a standard pint glass, so this might all fit. Um, a lot of times these big cans don't all fit. No, I don't think this one's gonna fit. That's all right. Got a little more to top it off later. Well, appearance wise, um, it's a little bit lighter, I think, than mine. So I, I like to compare um, to others that we've had. And that one I remember it's, um, it's very clear, just like mine is. Um, got a great clarity on it. It's almost crystal clear. There's a, a lot of carbonation on this. So this is uh, probably higher carbonated than even mine is, even in, even sitting in the keg. I think I usually leave my serving pressure around 10. And uh, this one definitely has a lot more bubbles in it than mine typically does, even when I pour it off the keg. Got a good two finger head on that though, uh, almost. It's died down a little bit. But with that upside down snowstorm going in and there in the glass, um, and that sort of frothy head there with the with the tight bubbles, small bubbles, it's probably not going anywhere for a while. So while that kind of hangs out there, let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at the yeast and see what it what it is because I've never used this yeast uh, this yeast at all. Um, it's from Lalaman Brewing. They're calling it the Lal Brew Belle Saison, a Belgian saison style yeast. Um, looking at the package, it looks like it's a dry yeast, so uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, I mean, I guess if I read through this, I can find out whether or not it is actually a dry yeast or not. Or, um, Dennis, you can tell me. But just sort of skimming through here, there's a lot of information, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through some of this, not all of it. Uh, it says it's a Belgian-style ale yeast selected specifically for its ability to create Saison-style beers. Bel Saison is a diastaticus strain that allows the brewers to achieve a high attenuation characteristic of this classic style. Designed for warmer temperature fermentation due to traditional farmhouse production methods, beers brewed with Lollaburu's Belle Saison are fruity, spicy, and refreshing. Uh, some of the other stats that are on here, and like I said, there's a ton of information on their website, talks about having the standard wort condition being at 68 degrees, um, 
And when you do that, you get vigorous fermentation that can be completed in four days, very high attenuation, low flocculation. Aroma and flavor is traditional saisons with a little bit of citrus and pepper notes. The optimal temperature range for this yeast with those traditional styles is anywhere from 59 to 95 Fahrenheit. That's a hell of a range. Um, flavor and aroma, they kind of have like a little bit of a wheel here that tells you kind of where some of the stuff's going to fall. Probably similar to some of their other yeast, so they just kind of use the wheel for all of them. And it looks like you get a little bit of banana, a little more of red apple and clove. Um, they have acid listed on here, so I'm not sure how that's going to come through, maybe in the flavor and the aroma. Um, heavier on the pepper, and a little bit of, an, I guess, like an alcoholic kind of a note. So let's see what if I can get any of that out of this. So it's got, it's got a similar aroma to some of the other ones that I've had so far. A lot of these are pretty close. Um, I think, so I've, I'm like halfway through these. I think this is number five now. Um, and what's interesting is for me, there wasn't a, at least the ones I've tried so far have been very stinking close. The only thing I can, I could say is like turning up the volume uh, on the Saison qualities is kind of the only thing I can come up with for characteristic on the ones I've tried so far. And this aroma is kind of right, right around there. Um, I do, I do smell a little bit of that apple there. Can't say I'm getting um, maybe, maybe a hint of that banana, but you know, if they didn't say it, I, I, you know, I wouldn't know it's there. And I'm kind of searching for it. Maybe a little bit of that clove I can get there. Not really getting the pepper um, that I kind of expect to get out of a saison, so the pepper is not coming through there, uh, and the spice isn't really coming through the aroma. But maybe it will in the taste. So cheers. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. It's a it's a nice, um, mild, kind of middle of the road saison. Uh, very similar to to a couple that I've had. Yeah, I can definitely tell. I can taste that red apple. That's definitely there. Maybe a little bit of pear too, actually, in that. I'm getting a hint of that pepper that you would kind of expect that's that a little bit of that sort of um peppery note that you might get from a saison but it's toned down in this which i like it's not over the top it's not like you know punch you in the face saison um but all the things we're talking about here i'm getting some of that can't say i'm getting the clove though let me try again no i'm not really getting the clove there I'm also not getting any kind of an alcoholic tone, but that also might be because, you know, this is a, um, just, just about a 6% beer. So it's not really a strong beer anyway. A lot of times those alcohol notes won't really surface until you have a, um, a higher ABV. A lot of times when you start to get up there in the ABV, you find that, you know, some, depending on how you brewed the beer and what, what type of uh, recipe you have, sometimes you can hide that. Um, but with this being a, a six percenter, there's no need. Yeah, Dennis, that's delicious. Great beer. It's really, um, actually, as it's sitting here, it's, it's become pretty crystal clear. That carbonation, that sort of cap on there, that's that's been sticking around this entire time, and I wouldn't be surprised if it sticks around for the rest of this, which I'm going to enjoy off camera. Uh, thank you to our sponsors for being a part of the BrewTubers this year, and thank you for helping us out with the yeast experiment. They've all been terrific, and all these beers have been awesome. They're, it's going to be really hard to score these. They're very close. Um, there's some subtle differences between them in, as far as uh, the aroma and the flavor and things, but um, but they're all pretty pretty darn close. Great job on the rest of Big Gary, and, and, and uh, thank you for putting all this together for us. And, uh, yeah, thanks, Dennis. This is a great representation of a, of a Saison. I love it. Well, we'll see you guys on the next review. Have a good night. Cheers.